Yo, make sure you guys smash like on this video in the next five seconds if you're watching in 2020. I know there's going to be a few of you. All right, what is going on? What's happening? How's everyone doing today? My name is Chuck, and welcome back to a brand new video. Today, we're going to be diving into Modern Warfare Battle Royale Warzone loadouts. As you guys know, there's 10 custom created class slots. There's a whole bunch of different stuff on here, but Warzone loadouts tend to drastically differ from what a regular multiplayer class setup is going to look like, and that's why I'm going to show you guys the best setups here to use within this video. We're essentially going to deep dive into absolutely everything, so if you guys haven't already make sure you guys slap a like on this video subscribe with those notifications on and make sure you guys comment down below and with that being said let's jump into it so the first thing we're going to be jumping into here today is going to be our tried and true our custom class loadout one which is actually going to be the m4a1 so we're going to jump in here to my attachments real quick and show you guys why these are the way they are so i'm running the monolithic suppressor i have the stock m16 grenade or barrel the commando foregrip the 60 round magazine and i've actually taken off my stippled rear grip tape and got for an optic and this is going to be my reasoning behind it so normally in regular multiplayer you're super concerned with just aiming down sights very very fast and kind of having more or less you know good maneuverability but in battle royale you really have to focus on basically your time to kill your range and more or less also your accuracy and so because i feel like i need a bit more accuracy i ended up taking off my sippled rear grip tape and put on the gi mini reflex this barrel right here actually increases my damage range my bullet velocity also helps my recoil control and it does negatively impact impact my aim down sight speed and my movement speed but that's not really the biggest issue here the monolithic suppressor also is a huge huge thing because it helps with my sound suppression and it actually boosts my damage range which is a huge deal and not to mention that unlike multiplayer for whatever reason there is red dots on the mini map so keeping yourself off the mini map off the radar when you're shooting is a huge thing and then i always love running the commando foregrip just because i think it's a all-around great foregrip it's a really early unlock it's really the first unlock you get for the m4 in terms terms of your uh, grip and everything and then the 60 round magazine I prefer to run this one specifically because people in warzone tend to eat a lot of bullets especially if they have armor you go from your 100 health and multiplayer to up to 250 depending on how much armor they got so having that 60 round mag is definitely very very crucial you could always swap out your optic for maybe something like the flip hybrid or something else like that but I just kind of prefer to run a red dot because my second weapon actually on here which is going to be largely for my long distance distance engagements that I can't get to the people at my red dot site with is actually going to be my HDR sniper rifle and I don't use snipers at all in multiplayer but they're hugely beneficial to use in war zone so the first thing on here I'm going to be running the tactical suppressor and you guys will notice that I run a suppressor on almost everything and that's because I'm trying to stay off the radar as much as possible here so obviously we want to get rid of that sound suppression it's going to take a little bit of our aim on sight speed and our aim walking steadiness but to be honest with you guys you're not really trying to quick scope anybody you're just trying to make sure basically stay off the radar then one of the other things you want to have on here is the 26.9 hdr pro barrel because it increases your damage range your bullet velocity it helps with your recoil control which isn't that big of a deal and then obviously it has a couple of cons here but you know ultimately we're trying to make sure that we can get the most range out of our gun the one thing here this is actually going to be very personal preference but i love to run the thermal scope and this does obviously impact your aim down sight speed but it is what it is you can also run the variable scope zoom zoom so this is one of those things where it actually comes down to personal preference you can run the thermal and if you find maybe a lot of people are running cold-blooded then you can swap out the thermal down for like the variable zoom or any of these other different sniper attachments but i absolutely love running the thermal scope just because it does help me pick off people just from different distances and figure out like hey do i have somebody pushing me is somebody hiding in the brush you know etc etc i think having a thermal is very nice and it's obviously really really easy to use i, I like also running the perk fully loaded which i'm not running on my m for because you find a lot of you know assault rifle ammunition around the map so it's pretty easy to kind of get away with not running fully loaded and when you kill somebody they always have assault rifle ammo on them but it seems like sniper rifle stuff is a little bit harder to come by so i like to run this and especially because you're essentially only going to get your nine rounds and you could easily waste your nine rounds or your seven rounds whatever you got on just shooting at like one squad so it kind of is nice to have like 40 something rounds when you start off and then i do run my nine round magazine just because you know hey it's 
it's, you know, it's an extra two bullets or extra few bullets in the magazine that I didn't have before. This is my, you know, my ideal sniper class loadout that I basically run right now. I know some people like using the Car 98 or the AX50, but this is my preferred loadout right here. Now, if we go down to our perks, these are going to be very, very crucial. So you guys will see I'm running Cold Blooded, Overkill, and Battle Hardened. So let's take a deep dive into this real quick. So Cold Blooded, the reason we are going to be running Cold Blooded is obviously because a lot of people are going to be running thermal sniper rifles, and that's going to be a huge thing. And you're also not going to trigger people's high alert. So if they're running high alert, you're, they, they won't know if you're looking at them. So I just think having Cold Blooded is pretty, you know, beneficial. I mean, you can run something like let's say EOD, or if you really want to, you can run um, Kill Chain, which does increase your chance of getting kill streaks out of you know supply boxes. So I know one of my buddies actually likes to run that, but for me, I'm always going to be running either Cold Blooded or EOD, and rarely am I going to be running Kill Chain. You can run Quick Fix, but I would say ultimately Cold Blooded and Kill Chain are probably going to be your top two ones you're going to want to run in Warzone in your tier one slot. Second tier is we're going to be running Overkill, and obviously that's because we have two primary weapons. I will have class setups that don't have Overkill, and I'll show you guys those here later in the video, but your tier two slot is going to be very crucial as well. So we have Overkill, which I think is really, really useful. And then the other one that's going to be beneficial is going to be Ghost. So this will be combined into a different class setup. So we'll talk more about that later. For your tier three, I'm not exactly sure how I feel about tier three. I'm kind of still a little bit wishy-washy on some of these different ones here. I like running Battle Hardened because if somebody likes to, you know, flash you, throw down some gas, you know, anything else like that, a snapshot grenade, Battle Hardened tends to keep you a little more protected. Some people really love running Tracker because you can see some of the footsteps, but I haven't really noticed too much of a benefit to running Tracker, so I just kind of tend to stick with Battle Hardened as I think that is a fantastic one to kind of keep you protected from, you know, getting stunned and all the rest of the stuff and then on this class setup in specific i do have the proximity mine because this is not more or less my super aggro class i'm not going to just bum rush you you know i'm not just you know pushing balls to the wall so i'm going to be throwing down the proximity mine to kind of hopefully guard my back guarded position or something like that and last but definitely not least for the tactical we're going to be running the heartbeat sensor so the heartbeat sensor is actually pretty useful especially when people are camping the only thing is though is that if they have ghost or something like that then they probably won't show up on the heartbeat or cold-blooded one of the two so you kind of have to be on the lookout for that you can swap out the heartbeat maybe let's say for like the stim shot or like a decoy or even something let's say like a stun or a flash grenade the tactical is really up to you but you know the heartbeat sensor is very very useful so our next class is gonna be probably one of the better ones in all of warzone so this gun right here surprisingly you guys may not even understand this but in regular multiplayer the aug is only just kind of like a middle of the road type of gun but when you actually put this into warzone by running one specific attachment it makes it essentially the fastest time to kill weapon in the entirety of warzone as the current point in time so here is going to be my setup i have the monolithic suppressor which actually obviously you guys know what the monolithic suppressor does i have the six 22 millimeter long barrel i'm trying to get as much range as possible so your aim on sight speed is going to be hindered and everything but hey we're trying to get a lot of range out of this gun so then we also have the merc foregrip i like having my you know increased hip fire accuracy seat and my recoil control if someone happens to run right up on me i want to be able to make sure that i can essentially out hip fire them because you know getting shots on target is very very crucial especially in war zone when people have a ton of health and then this is going to be your crucial crucial thing right here so you're not going to run the 32 round mag but what you can do is run the 5.56 nato 30 round mag or the 60 round drum so this is the big thing is you have to be running the 5.56 this is what makes the all the fastest killing the fastest time to kill gun in all of call of duty warzone you have to be running the 5.56 i cannot stress that enough what you choose to do with a 30 round or the 60 round is up to you but if you're talking about me right now i love having extra ammo having a giant clip so i'm running the 60 round magazine and i would highly suggest you guys throw this on there if you really think the negatives are too much then maybe drop it down to the 30 round but i'm just saying right now as long as you got the 5.56 you should more or less be in good shape and then we're not running a laser a stock a perk or a rear grip we're actually running a viper reflex sight i actually don't you know obviously pick people 
off at long long distances but having that extra bit of you know accuracy is good obviously you could swap out maybe the viper if you go down here and you want to throw on let's say the stippled grip tape in the rear and actually if you don't need an optic because the iron sights are really good it's just kind of all down to your personal preference so sometimes i'll interchange the two you know depending on the day if i feel like i want an optic or if i don't want an optic or sometimes i maybe even just forego both of them and i'll let's say throw on something like fully loaded it's just kind of one of those things where i alter up a couple attachments but more or less all this stuff is going to be staying the same for me and then i won't go too much in depth because my sniper class setup looks the exact same as my previous one with the m4 i think really the only difference here is that i threw on a semtex instead of a proximity mine because with the aug i'm trying to be a little bit more aggressive so i want to be able to sometimes throw that semtex in there and be able to just you know be a tad bit more aggressive and i'm not just trying to hold down a position i'm trying to move up and take positions so having the semtex can really help you when you're trying to you know throw it into a window clear somebody out i mean getting a semtex thrown at you and getting stuck definitely will freak you out and more than less take off all your armor or just take you down in general up next is going to be the growl 556 so this is an absolutely incredible gun and let's show you guys my attachments so i have the monolithic suppressor i have the ffs 20.8 nexus barrel aka this increases my damage range bullet velocity helps my recoil control it just has some negatives in terms of aimed on sight the movement speed but we'll make up for that don't worry the command of foregrip because that's just it's one of the best foregrips in the game and we also have the 60 round magazine on here obviously you don't have to run an extended clip but remember people have 250 health and you can waste a lot of bullets so having that extra magazine capacity can be very crucial especially if you're playing squads like if you've got like you know three guys coming at you having those 60 rounds can mean the difference between life and death and, or going to the gulag or being completely out of the game so it's kind of up to you guys but i don't run a rear grip i don't run a perk nor do i run an optic but what i do happen to run is i run the no stock attachment so this is actually pretty crucial right here so it gives me a movement speed bonus and an aim down sight speed bonus and you guys will notice that it also really you know it helps my mobility so what we lost you know in our mobility you know otherwise we actually made up for it with the no stock the only thing is is that you kind of have to get a little bit more adjusted to not necessarily having the 100 best recoil control it goes from being like a, a straight laser beam to having a tad bit of recoil but i think it is largely worth it for that increased movement speed and this is like my aggro like you know assault rifle rushing class i'm gonna be pushing people non-stop with this thing you know as much as i can and thus that's the reason why i don't actually have a sniper on this class i actually have a a secondary so we have the 357 magnum and i'm gonna show you guys a couple ways to run it so the 357 magnum what you guys can do is something you have to run on this obviously is you can either run this exact setup i got right here which is the long barrel the lightweight trigger the snake shot I mean the snake shot you need snake shot if you're running the 357 without snake shot I don't know what you're doing it, it just doesn't make any sense period then you have the stippled grip tape in the rear and what you can do is you can run either sleight of hand or you can actually run straight up akimbo and so if you happen to be running akimbo which I just haven't unlocked yet because I'm a bit lazy and I have to go do that akimbo is actually just incredibly overpowered and you can take people down very very fast so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna rock it like how it is right now but i'm going to go ahead and unlock akimbo and i would highly suggest running snake shot akimbo 357s and putting basically any other attachments on there that you want I, you know, I think it's very beneficial. So here, this is going to be your all-in-one class setup. Obviously, we have cold-blooded because I think that's the best. We have our tier two, which is going to be ghost because people are going to be calling in UAVs. And this is the class setup you can run from start to finish. You don't have to get a second loadout to kind of swap over to a ghost class and then to pick your stuff back up so you can have overkill and have ghosts at the same time, which is, by the way, a tier one tactic for those of you guys that are still watching the video right now. And obviously, I am going to be running battle Harden. You know, people are going to be throwing down stuns, grenades, etc., etc., and they're going to be getting me in the last circle or closing down, or if they try to bum rush my building, you know, I'm basically taken care of. I'm off the radar. I'm protected against tactical grenades. Up close, I'm an absolute machine 
the Grau is it's a laser beam. It shoots super, super fast and very accurately. We have the Semtex because I'm pushing people. And then we also have our heartbeat sensor just because, hey, it's a heartbeat, but I mean, maybe I'll take that off and throw on, let's say, the stim shot just because obviously I'm in people's face. I want to get in there. I want to make sure I got as much health as possible. So maybe I'll throw on the stim shot instead. But that's essentially about it. Those are my top classes to use in all of Call of Duty Warzone as of right now. This is definitely subject to change as more patches and everything come out and more weapons get added into the game. But as of right now, those are my top, you know, loadouts for perks, for attachments, for guns. Those are the most consistent things I found to help me do the best in warzone if you guys have any other suggestions make sure you guys leave them in the comment section below if you guys haven't already make sure you guys slap a like in the video subscribe those notifications on and i shall see you guys back here again with yet a future video just run trouble cap don't be randy and i'm out peace